Water signs. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Welcome to my channel. My name is Lady Day, and this is the Healing Butterfly channel. <laughs> uh, I am an overall intuitive reader as well as a medium. This particular message is a midweek love guidance. Um, since retrograde is over, I just feel a lot of souls asking for direction and clarity in a number of ways. So let's get into this message. Please only take what resonates. Leave the rest for someone else. Don't try to make every uh, detail within a collective message match to your personal situation. You may end up making some decisions. Um, some wrong decisions or taking on emotions that you should because it again it could be totally directed towards someone else so let's get right into it it's not going to be a long message so what do we have for the water sign spirit cancer scorpio and pisces midweek love thank you thank you come on serendipity milk and honey all right come on water I'm on water. I do. I feel like there's this. <sighs> finally, like you finally found your stride and love. You finally found how to balance your emotions. You are a water sign. You finally found how to just be fancy free in this love thing. Um, you probably even found someone that you either have your eye on someone who is like everything to you. Um, or you're with them, one or the other. It's like, oh, I found my four-leaf clover. That it, it really is that. I have such a, I just can't wait to be married. I can't wait. Like, I'm just hearing someone is all in their head just planning so many beautiful, like, beautiful things. Like, oh my gosh. Like, I don't even know what they are because they're flashing so quick in my mind's eye. But I just have goosebumps all over. Like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. so beautiful thank you spirit oh, clarify this further for me spirit thank you okay okay equal give and take justice possibly a marriage coming Come. yes okay all right but then we got the two okay well we got them twos two of wands two of cups someone I, I, okay let's let's give it how it is come on spirit Yes. Justice card. Six of Pentacles. The Lover's card. The Two of Wands. And at the bottom of the deck is the Two of Cups. An equal give and take in this love decision. And I'm seeing equal give and take here and here. Most of these cards, sometimes it's like, and this, either you or the person um, or your person may have been weighing back and forth, like how, either how to go about it, how to give you these gifts or which person to give the gifts to. Again, take it as it resonates. Either they were in between two people, in between two loves, in between how do I give them this love or how do I, again, it could be engagement. Um, so there could have been some, just again, some waiting because they weren't sure how to how to dish this love out to you. Or you weren't sure how to dish out this love to that person, but you knew and you know that you want an equal give and take in this situation. Um, I just feel that very strongly. There's a lot of, and I'm hearing duality, so maybe this is also someone who you spiritually already know is kind of on your path. And when I say on your path, I mean someone who understands, yeah, she watches tarot, or he watches tarot, yeah. You know, things that are still kind of unconventional in the world. Um, the carrying crystals and, you know, me personally, I think it just needs to be an everybody everywhere type of thing. Carry your crystals. Do your meditation. If you need tarot for guidance, go ahead and ask. Ask your spirit guides. Get get in tune with your, you know, your archangels and your higher self. That's just me. Okay. Oh, that is just beautiful. That just came right out. I didn't even, that, that didn't even take any additional. That's just beautiful. So let's, this, um, uh, the romance angels were pulling for those that are already in some type of connection with their person. Bottom of the deck is worth waiting for. Divine Tommy is at work in your love life. And the chariot won't, the, yeah, you're, you're trying to move, trying to move this thing along. Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate and passion allow your heart and soul to sing with joy 
So then we're going to pull two um, soulmate cards. This is for those in relationships and those not. Again, just take what resonates um, where it's at, honestly. Um, but I thought I'd pull both decks because this one I normally pull just for my singles and those for those in some type of relationship or situationship. But take what resonates, right? If your soul gets triggered, then it's for a reason. All right. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces, Spirit. What do you have? Two cards, please. Thank you. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Thank you. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay. The first card out is the hottest love has the coldest end. The next card out is the Phoenix. And where does my power come from? It comes from within. And at the bottom of the deck is everything you need. Your courage, strength, compassion, and love. Everything you need is within you. So what I'm feeling here um, is, again, for those who who were in between two people, whether that was you in between two people or your person might have been in between two people, um, I think it may have been a very passionate, fiery experience with, with that other person, but it wasn't something that they knew would, would last. So it's something that I think that they had to bring to an end, and that person may think, oh, you're so, you're so mean to do something like that to me or something like that. Like, you just left me out in the cold, and it's like, well, no, you knew this was a passion experience. Um, something that uh, I do feel like um, burned the phoenix so somebody this experience with this other person has taught taught someone whether that's you or the person that was dating these two people um how to burn out the things that no longer serve them a purpose and to grow from those ashes so whatever the situation was a cold ending actually probably was a little fiery the way it ended and that has just completely opened them up oh under the lovers open them up to how love is supposed to be and that's what you're looking forward to or or this person is looking forward to is having that two of cups six of pentacles equal give and take lovers card justice like i want real just love okay so there's a new passion within and i'm hearing just a new person that has birthed on the outside so soulmate spirit what do you have for soulmate thank you oh, okay Self-indulgence, focus on self-worth, um, so focus on self, self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, self-appreciation. So, um, and then below that is the mirror card, mirroring each other, self-image, relationship, reflecting our wounds, introspection. So I do believe, obviously, your soulmate is definitely someone who can trigger, um, who can trigger you and mirrors you in ways at the bottom of the deck is palm tree, stability, security, performance, I'm sorry, permeance, growth endurance and flexibility so when you're talking about someone who your soul is con connected to especially if it's a past life soulmate yes you go through mirroring each other and triggering each other um especially in a, in a twin especially in a twin flame um triggering each other so that you can become one with self so that you can come into union whole you don't come into union half okay passion spirit two, two cards please thank you two cards for passion please spirit okay what's going on here Two cards for passion. Thank you. One more, please. Thank you. The first card out was heartbroken. Yeah, I think this is coming back to this person that may have been X'd out. Deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, mourning, and then stabbed in the back. Heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shocking attack. So, again, I do think that either this person, this other, when, if someone was in between two people, um... The person that they decided to walk away from and i said that fiery like they had a fiery passion maybe even like a sexual passion for this with this person um it wasn't to last and that's why they heartbroken. and that's why they feel they wanted yeah there it is wedding rings they wanted this to, to blossom into something that i don't i don't think this this person had ever planned on giving them that giving them the serendipity and milk and honey that you are giving or the serendipity and milk and honey that you're giving someone that other person that you were dating, they thought that it was going to go that far. The hottest love has the coldest end, there. The hottest love has the coldest end. Two cards, please, there. The hottest love has... Not taking all those. The hottest love has the coldest end. Cold. I was about to say codependent. Coldest end. There it is. Ascending, right? Oh, then they, they said start with the bottom. Bat mask. Um, not showing true feelings. Hide person, 
Oh, hide, personify, pretend, delude, gaslighting. And that's probably what it was. This person had a false mask on the whole time. Exactly. Here we are. You ascended from this situation. You are the other or the person. Either this is whatever. Take what resonates. Transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, preparing for reunion. Thank you. And separation. Like I said, this person's energy is still around you. Um, sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of the future. Well, I'm pretty sure they know now because I think they know that your passion is with someone else. And lastly, where does the power come from? It comes from within. What do we have there, Spirit? Two cards. Thank, thank you. <laughs> I, lo I love it. I love it. Um, so hand of cards. I think that there, someone did take a chance, a risk, being strategic, options, not showing hand. I think someone did gamble. Um, and they gambled with someone that was a karmic relationship. Feelings, uh, fleeting, triggers, turmoil, resentment, lettings, uh, lessons, letting go and loving you. And then at the bottom of the deck is the butterfly. Relationship evolving, evolving from, again, phoenix, butterfly, evolving from the ashes of a past turmoil, turmoil situation. Relationship evolving to the next phase, healing the, healing the inner child growth. Thank you. Again, that shadow work. Healing the inner child and growth. So... I hope that this resonated with you. I hope that it gave you some peace and some comfort and some guidance to um, proceed on with the remainder of the week. Please continue to stop by um, and see what other messages spirit may have just for you. So I thank you all again for your likes, your shares, your subscribes and lending me your energy. Peace, prosperity, protection and paradise to you and your loved ones. Namaste. Talk to you later.